The Dominican Republic is a country in the Caribbean Sea that occupies the greater part of the island of Hispaniola, which it shares with Haiti. Dominicans can boast a rich culture derived from its heritage of indigenous Arawak-speaking Taino people, Spanish colonizers, and Africans brought as slaves to work the plantations and mines. The Dominican people are predominantly Christian, with Catholicism being the largest religion. As in many Christian countries, Carnival is an important cultural and religious celebration in the weeks preceding Lent. And as in many countries, Carnival in the Dominican Republic varies from region to region. Most cities and towns have their own unique Carnival characters and traditions. For example, in the town of Cotuí in Cibao, the Carnival Parade features two main characters, the Platanus and the Papelus. Both wear masks made of a large gourd with round eye holes, and both carry inflated animal bladders on a string. But the Platanus wear a costume made of dried leaves from a plantain plant, while the Papelus wears a costume made of paper, or more recently, colored plastic. There are other characters as well. Bonao was historically famous for its inhabitants dressing up as crocodiles, snakes, or bees during carnival. The modern carnival characters still borrow animal themes and are known as macarao. Estamos ahora mismo en un distrito municipal de nuestra provincia, Monseñor Noel. Right now, we are in a municipal district in the province of Noel called Juan Adrián. We are representing the Carnival of Bonao, which every Saturday happens in different municipal districts. Because every Sunday in February, we celebrate our carnival in the zone of Duarte Park. Our characters appear as Macarao, in pairs or trios that make up the group that we call the Comparsa. Macarao means big mask, and in Bonao, that is our principal character. Other towns have different main characters. To make the masks, which we've done for the last 13 years, you use paper mache. I have to make the same mask for the whole Comparsa, so others help me. I learned by watching more senior makers in their workshops as they made the masks. To design a mask, there are people, including me, who can make one from someone's drawing. But others just create what comes out of their heads. What sets us apart is that our masks are traditionally of animals. And our costumes have a cape with a belt, whistle, mirrors, Although in the last few years, we have spiced the costume up to give more life to the Bonao Carnival. To create a mask, we begin with a clay mold, then add strips of paper soaked in flour starch. When this dries, it forms the base, the shell. We then paint it and add decorations like these eyebrows. And you protect the wearer with foam rubber inside, like this. In addition to the Macaraos, the Bonao Carnival features other characters, such as the Trapuces, Mud Men, and Dancers. In nearby La Vega, the main character is known as the Diablo Cojuelo, or Limping Devil. Behind him is the story of a devil banished because of his annoying pranks. He limps because he injured his leg when cast down to earth. The Diablo Cojuelo wears a large, colorful mask, 
Usually made of paper mache or sometimes fiberglass, he has a flashy costume and carries a vejiga or inflated animal bladder. The Diablo uses the bladder to whip the buttocks of anyone within reach. But most frequently, pretty young women. Many carnival attendees walk around protecting themselves from a surprise attack. It is at once a reminder of the torments awaiting in hell and a catharsis for the young masqueraders, the great majority of whom are boys. Diablos cojuelos take many forms, from fierce to satirical to clownish. Other characters include Los Indios, who represent Taino ancestors. Janina is a mask and costume designer and maker in La Vega, who works with other artists to equip groups of Diablo Cojuelos. We have been designing and making masks around 30 years. Since I was a youngster, I learned in the workshop of the master Felipe Abreu who won many national awards here in the Dominican Republic. I began by learning the design and making of masks from him and conceived a passion for this activity. Making a mask begins with a sculpture of clay or terracotta that serves as the mold. From there, you cover the mold with recycled paper dipped in almidon which is a starch made from the yuca plant and serves as glue. After a long time, it dries and we remove it from the mold. From there, we complete it with painting and decorations. The Diablo Cojuelo is a character of La Vega that has a long story and is the symbol of our carnival. He is a limping devil, and in our interpretation, the costume transforms him into a clown, a satire, through the complexity and diversity of colors and decorations and the bells. The Carnival of La Vega is different because it is unprejudiced. The Diablos have no ranks. The child marches with the elder. There is no oligarchy of any kind, and this permits us to unite. The vejiga, the bladder, is a very important part of the Diablo Cojuelo because when you are whacking people with it, you let go of your hate and anger during this celebration that is so dynamic and cultural. Another town known for its large carnival parade is Santiago de los Caballeros. In Santiago, the main masked character is known as the lechon, or piggy, possibly because pork is a popular dish in Santiago. The costume of the lechon is often more elaborate than in La Vega. It has detailed hand-sewn designs, ribbons, and bells. The mask of the lechon has tall horns and a mouth like a duck's bill. The lechon carries an inflated bladder like the Diablo Cojuelo, but they do not usually hit anyone with it. Instead, they carry a long rope whip in the other hand which they crack at intervals. There is an art to cracking a whip with tall horns on your head. There are several types of lechon in the Santiago Carnival. For example, the pepineros wear masks with pointed snouts and smooth horns while the joyeros have densely spiked horns. <laughs> a 
others have horns decorated with flowers. Or even balloons. I've been making carnival masks in Santiago since the 1990s, since I was a boy. I liked to make drawings, to be creative. At the beginning, we started making molds out of straw when we didn't know anything about clay. And I had this friend who, like me, just lived for this tradition. We made them at his house and at my house. And he knew how to make them better than I did because he had been doing it three or four years longer. In 2003, he decided to form a carnival group. So we began working together as a team to make their masks and we started winning prizes. I am part of a lechon group as well since 2003. I get all dressed up as a joyero. To make a mask, the first step is to sculpt a clay mold like this one. Each is made for a specific mask. If we're going to make many masks from it, up to 25 or 30, we cover it with plaster for greater durability. We cover the mold with the newspaper and paper mache like this, soaked in yuca juice. When it's dry, we paint it and add decoration like this glitter. There are many other characters in the Santiago Carnival. One of the most iconic is the Roba la Gallina, or chicken thief, who is usually a man dressed up like a buxom woman with a parasol and who dances and sings nonsensical songs. She makes an appearance in carnivals of other Dominican towns as well. There are many other characters in the carnival as well. Some are masked, some are not, but all wear costumes. Many are parodic. And some are tongue-in-cheek celebrations of the Taino and African ancestry of most Dominican people. Manuel de Jesus Jimenez and his son, Giovanni de Jesus Jimenez Santos, are a team of award-winning mask makers in Santiago. Manuel crafts the masks and Giovanni paints them. I started making masks 12 years ago. I made my first one for a competition at Tomás Morel Folk Art Museum. I won my first prize there at the age of 56, and I started making more afterward. Now I'm 68 years old. I'm from a neighborhood hill called Pueblo Nuevo, where there was an artisan named Joaquín. I used to go to his studio and help him. I also took some classes at a local art school from a teacher who made masks, and that's how I learned. For the horns of a lechon mask, you have to use a separate mold. After the paper dries, you attach them to the mask. If you are making a pepine mask, the horns stay smooth, but a joya mask has many, many spines so much more work. That style was invented in the 1960s. In competitions, the masks are converted from tradition into art. For example, this is a fantasy mask. It's art. The artist gets to use his or her imagination. But the Pepines monkey-like face, like the one you see being painted here, remains the same wide at the jaw and narrow at the tip. In case of the joya, the jaw is narrower, 
and the tip rounder, like an elephant trunk. There's also the fourth mask, the flores or flowers, which has flowers covering the horns. The reason for the lechon's whip and the bladder is to keep the public in line, so they don't get in the way of the parade, to leave a space for the carnival queen to come through. I followed the tradition of my father. I learned from him. I was born doing this. I use acrylic paint, watercolors, oil paint. Ultimately, we prefer to use acrylic paint because it dries faster. For the design, you can be inspired by anything you see. You might see a painting or a mural or a Google page and translate it to a mask design. Sometimes people bring in their own ideas, and I can incorporate that into the mask painting. Despite the relatively modest size of the Dominican Republic, it has many other carnival traditions. Towns such as Asua, Cabral, Elias Piña, Montecristi, Puerto Plata, Rio San Juan, and many others have unique carnival characters and traditions. Usually on a day after Mardi Gras or Fat Tuesday, celebrants from almost all of these cities assemble in the capital, Santo Domingo, for a combined celebration that is the largest in the country. Dominican Carnival is a spectacular and unique set of traditions that celebrate at once the unity and diversity of this Caribbean island. <laughs> 